See, they laughed just, just with me walking out. <laughs> this is my problem for this evening, because we have tonight, uh, you, a lot of nights, uh, as you know, if you've seen this show a lot, and if you have, I'm terribly sorry. But, <laughs> but we have tonight, normally we, the audiences are, eh, eh. <laughs> But tonight this audience is really good. <laughs> now, Which, of course, which, of course, makes me feel awful because I know what this show is like. <laughs> and I think, oh, these poor people with their enthusiasm and their, their love of life and their genuine desire to be helpful and they're going to sit through an hour of this crap. <laughs> and then I think, ah, I'm not worried because I still got you guys at home. <laughs> you guys there waiting for me to come out with my mediocrity. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> And then I thought to myself, the other thing, I, um, the quandary I'm dealing with tonight is I've got a comedy special playing on, uh, on the Comedy Central channel on, on Saturday at 10 o'clock. It's called Does This Need to Be Said? It's a, my live stand-up comedy special from Nashville in uh, Tennessee, and I recorded it. It was a great show, but I don't know how I'm going to plug it on the show tonight. <laughs> I mean, I could say it was on at 10 o'clock at Comedy Central, but that's a different network. It's not CBS, and they might get mad. And then I could say, well, I, you know, we shot it in Nashville, and then people in uh, Memphis might go, why not Memphis? And I'll go, you next time. <laughs> Did I plug it then? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's either that or pretend I get an email from someone in Nashville. <laughs> Hey, I told you I wouldn't keep secrets from you about how this stuff is made. If you want to, you know, if you like sausages, maybe you shouldn't know how they're made. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if you do like sausages, you've definitely come to the right show. <laughs> some booing in there. Do you hear some booing in there? I heard some booing. I heard the a boo. I'm like, what? Someone's sneaking in a boo. It's always like, oh, I like to sneak in a boo every now and again. <laughs> I'm sure I heard a boo. Like, Hooray! False cheering, false cheering, real booing, false cheering. <laughs> Maybe it was me. <laughs> You'll be laughing on the other side of your face. <laughs> That's what my mother used to say to me when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, you'll be laughing on the other side of your face. I'm like, what, what, what does that mean? <laughs> you'll be booing on the other side of your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day for America. <laughs> it? It's a great day. It, it, it's a great day for America's little person sex pot, Kim Kardashian. Uh, she's, uh, she's tiny, she's portable, she's sexy. Her wedding uh, TV special had ten and a half million viewers. Ten and a half million! To give you an idea uh, how uh, much that is, uh, take the viewership of this show and add ten and a half million. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
but I don't care because I'm taller. <laughs> oh, hello, Kim. I'm sexy, I'm sexy. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, to be fair, the ten and a half million viewers, most of them were, in fact, Kardashians. But... <laughs> but now Kim and her husband can look forward to the pitter-patter of tiny feet as Ryan Seacrest runs up to congratulate them. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you successful bastard! It's a great day for the automobile industry. A major car company has announced they're making an all-electric car. Now, I say major car company because I don't know if they advertise on CBS. But they're... they're <laughs> well, I know. There's, some of them do, some of them don't. It rhymes, though, with uh, genital voters. <laughs> uh, by the way, when I'm voting genitally, I always vote I. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> anyway, there's some incredible innovations coming out of Detroit these days. It's amazing. They get the electric cars, the hybrids, a football team that wins. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I, I've heard people say, you know, we'll never get rid of the gas-powered car, but these are the same people that said we would never get rid of the horse and buggy, which means they're over 100 years old. <laughs> I'm a little upset about cars going electric, though, because I mainly, you know, I've just perfected my, uh, you know, my sexy pumping gas post. <laughs> and I like to clean the windscreen. <laughs> and I eat a burger. <laughs> <laughs> then I vote genitally. <laughs> The great thing about the electric car, though, there's no gassy fumes. You could probably do your own Larry King joke now. <laughs> ah. um, I'm getting really lazy. I'll just tell you, do your own joke there. Uh, you know, when I, when, back when I was on the Drew Carey show, I met the actor Ed Begley Jr., and he had an electric power car, and that thing was weird looking, but it was a smooth ride, and so was the car. But I... <laughs> 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 I, I do like hybrid cars, though, but the people who drive them annoy me sometimes. You know what I mean? They pull up next to you and they're like, with that look that says, I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> and why are you fondling yourself? <laughs> if you're going to fondle yourself, could you at least do it in a car? The hybrids switch between gas and electric, but this new car will be 100% electric. 100% like, like the electric guitar, the electric eel, or the electric personality of Mario Lopez. <laughs> I was speaking to Mario today. Do you know he's got lovely eyelashes? He has. I mean, I don't normally look at other men's eyelashes much, but I, uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I was talking to Mario today, and I was like, Wow. <laughs> and the weird thing, uh, what was talking about? Oh, yeah, electric guitars. No, electric cars. Ah. <laughs> you know, they've made an electric guitar. <laughs> no, the thing about electric uh, cars is the silence. That's the thing, the silence. Uh, they don't make any noise, which will ruin NASCAR. <laughs> and, well, you, you turn up at the track and all you hear is... <laughs> And the occasional, get her done. <laughs> get her done. <laughs> and the electric car can sneak up behind you and follow you for miles because they're quiet. You never know. It's like what I do with Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> electric cars don't go as fast as regular cars, though. Those Fast and Furious movies will have to be renamed the slow and self-satisfied. <laughs> Carts are electric, of course, and in Britain, the electric milk floats have been used for, for years, so the technique, you don't know what an electric milk float is? Okay, it's like a little golf cart with a thing in the back, and they drive from house to house, and they deliver milk. You didn't know that? And you're a television producer? <laughs> Everybody else knew what it did. You guys knew what it was, right? Yeah. 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 No, you didn't. <laughs> All right, well, here's what happened. They used to call them milk floats, and you'd drive from house to house, you'd deliver milk. It was, it was my job. It was my job when I was a kid. I used to... Ah, that's right, before I was cleaning the chimneys, I used to deliver milk. <laughs> I did, I used to deliver milk. On a milk float, it was electric. So clearly the technology's there, is what I'm saying. 
Anyway, why is it taking so long to mass produce them? I will tell you why. Because electric vehicles are very shy about copulating. <laughs> They're like automotive pandas. <laughs> They always do that with pandas, oh, the pandas won't mate. They go, yeah, well, they'll leave them alone. <laughs> Give them a chance. And I was like, did you mate yet? 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 <laughs> Would you drive an electric car, Jeff? Yeah, I'd have sex with one too. Hey. How can you have sex with an electric guitar? Why do I keep saying electric guitar? I like, have you ever had sex with an electric guitar? Yeah, I've had sex with one of those two. Actually, two at the same time. Is there a name for that? Uh, menage, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Menage, I don't know. That's actually the technical term. Oh, all right. The hell, lady, were you there? Yeah. No, your lesbian Rose giving you a very hard time tonight. Yeah, I'll give you a hard time. Yeah. I don't. I don't think they want. I don't think they want. Her. You do, Mr. Lovett. It's a different thing altogether. It's not, you know. You know. You're all right. You having a spasm? Yeah, a little bit. I'm having a bit of a spasm. I like when you do that. It gets yeah. me all worked up. Yeah. I can get yourself pretty worked up anyway. Like for me just walking around, just standing like that gets you, gets you worked up. Yeah, I got a, I got a milk float in my pants. Yeah. Hi. I'll stand next to you for the thing if you okay. want tonight. Are you ready to do the thing? Yeah, yeah. We'll Let's do, do the thing. thing. All right. Then, go. Tonight's program is brought to you by the good folks at Ephemeral Floaters. <laughs> Ephemeral Floaters. Sure, their automotive products stink, but a mercy flush is on the way. <laughs> time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's Tweet Mail time, brought to you by the Peterson-Ferguson campaign in 2012. I'll win the presidential race because I'm a master debater. Winston in Atlanta, Georgia. You ever been in Atlanta, Georgia? You got a little place there like you go swimming again. Atlanta, Georgia. Well, that's only about a five hour drive from Nashville, Tennessee, where I recorded my stand up special. It's called Do This Leave You Stand at Comedy Central, 10 o'clock. Saturday night. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm a businessman. Ooh, la di da. Ooh, look, Jeff, an email from a businessman. Ooh, how do you do? Ooh, nice. Thank you very much for... <laughs> I'm a businessman. Ooh, well, I'd like to see your business. <laughs> yeah, open up your briefcase and let's see what's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I'm a businessman and I travel a lot by air. Ooh, la di da. Uh, I get very tired flying from place to place. How can I make my flights more bearable? Xanax. <laughs> you, oh, no, no, I can't. Can't say that. Can't say that. Uh, downers. <laughs> I can say downers. <laughs> Try a milk floater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is from Rory in Scottsdale, Arizona. Ever been to Scottsdale, Arizona? Uh, I don't no, think so. no, no. 
Dear Craig and Jeff, I want to get my pet, my daughter a pet for her birthday. <laughs> when? I thought it was going to say, I want to get my pet a daughter for her birthday. I'll be like... I want to get my daughter a pet for her birthday. Do you have any suggestions for what animal to choose? Yes, I do. Panda. <laughs> Then you won't have to answer any awkward questions about mating. <laughs> Although, it'll cost you a fortune in bamboo. You know the pandas eat bamboo there, Jeff? Yeah, a lot of bamboo. Oh, they love the bamboo. You get, you, get, you get a panda and you've got a bamboo in your backyard, it'll ruin it. <laughs> right? If you've got bamboo furniture, pandas go nuts, right, Jeff? So true. I, I had a bamboo in my backyard. Yeah. That's code. <laughs> So the fastest growing plant in nature, and that's code. <laughs> this is from Gabrielle in Lansing, Michigan. Never been to Lansing. I sure have. I've got a place there, and I like to. I don't. I'm lying. <laughs> Dear Craig, my husband said he needs more me time. What do you think he means? <laughs> he means he's a master debater. This is from Hannah in Danbury, Connecticut. Ever been to Danbury, yeah, Connecticut? Yeah, all the time. I got a place there, and you should come by, and we'll and make love. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell was that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it when you do that uh, hoodie thing. All right, uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I'm planning on going abroad to Europe this spring. Oh, you're going by air? Are you a businessman? Ooh, la di da. What uh, attractions do you recommend I check out? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Eiffel Tower. There you are. <laughs> yeah, you, you've seen it. You don't need to go to Europe now. <laughs> this is from Gillian in Bristol, Rhode Island. Do you know that in Bristol, uh, the, in Britain, if you, it's uh, slang for women's breasts. Did you know that, Jeff? Oh, yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. If you say it, you go, ooh, look at her bristles. <laughs> It's because the soccer team, in, they use Raymond slang in Britain, and the soccer team in Britain, uh, in Bristol, is called Bristol City. <laughs> mm. That's where lesbian rows go in every yeah. All right, very quickly, we got no time, just very quickly, I'll just do this last one. Uh, this is from Suzanne in Woodlands, Texas. Hey, Craig and Jeff, a co-worker of mine won't stop talking about indie bands I've never heard of. Is he cool or just a douche? Douche. All right, we got to go. Tonight is an Academy Award winning actress. She stars in Harry's Law, which is Wednesdays on NBC. Take a look at this. Please welcome the lovely Kathy Bates, everybody. I like your jacket. Thank you very much. That leather? Yes, it is, darling. I like it. Do you have pants that match it? <laughs> You're getting very personal, aren't I'm you? I'm a very personal person. <laughs> hey, um, uh, uh, what about, uh, did you come here by electric car today? A lot of people are using no, them. No, you know, I don't, I haven't gotten into the whole electric car thing. I mean, I have a wonderful e-cart electric car golf cart on the set. You have, oh, on the set. On, on Warner Brothers Studio. We drive around, you know, and they actually enclosed one for me. That sounds very it's fancy. Very Do you fancy. travel by air when doing business? <laughs> I didn't get it. No, no. no. Okay. Nobody got it. Okay. We're just doing the best we yeah, can. I know. <laughs> But you know, the interesting thing was my grandfather, God rest him, he tried to sell Ford a mummy. Many, many years ago. A mummy? Well, like you know, a oh, mummy? Yeah, yeah, a mummy. Why would Ford want a mummy? Well, he didn't. But, um, <laughs> but my grandfather uh, happened to be a lawyer, and um, he met a man when he was a young lawyer who claimed to be John Wilkes Booth. 
Wow. And told him the whole plot and everything and how he escaped. Fast forward, you know, several years later, the man died in Enid, Oklahoma. My grandfather's papers were in his things. So my grandfather went, and apparently the combination of arsenic and alcohol and God knows what else mummified the body. And this was 1903. I think I might be mummified. <laughs> <laughs> or stupefied. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so they actually brought it to the home in Memphis and they kept it there for many years in the parlor and they called it Uncle John. And my grandfather tried, he would uh, charge a nickel to see the mummy because he was trying to prove that this was John Wilkes Booth, there had been a conspiracy and... <clears throat> Okay, so... <laughs> I've learned my lesson about butting in. <laughs> anyway, so that's my weird connection to the electric wait, car. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's nothing to do with an electric car in there. Your, your grandfather, who was clearly insane and was carrying around a dead body of a notorious assassin from a different century, charging kids a nickel to see it and covering himself in arsenic. And I'm the stupid one! <laughs> I never paid a nickel to see the damn mummy, although I would. I would, actually. You would, yeah, yeah. But he ended up actually in a carnival, and there was a Life magazine article that showed a picture of him. He actually looked very much like Booth. This is the mummy, the not mummy. your grandfather. <laughs> That's right. No, my grandfather died a pauper because he spent the family fortune trying to prove this sad tale. Well, he didn't make any money from charging a nickel to see the mummy? No, no. They, they, well, they, most of them think he was insane, like you just said. Well... Didn't, didn't, uh, I, I can't, uh, didn't Booth get caught? Well, somebody did. Yes, but, and they're saying it wasn't him? It well, wasn't yes, that, apparently this man claimed that he was John Wilkes Booth, that he escaped, that they left the bridge on the Potomac open, and all these other things he told my grandfather, that it was a government conspiracy, and, I mean, I don't know. This is not really Are a suitable a big, story well, for a talk No, show. no, no, it is, it's just the kind of... <laughs> It's just the kind of thing... Why does he think about it? Well, he, he, that is, in fact, John Wilkes Booth over there, eh? It's a reanimated skeleton yeah. of John Wilkes Booth. And you're making money off of him, right? No, ma'am, I am not making any money. I am not making any money. Not off of him, anyway. You, you must make a lot of money in the TV shows. You'll like, look at your leather jacket and stuff. You'll be doing all right. Doing all right? I do all right. Yeah. I'm hey. hoping to do better. I hope we get a back nine. <laughs> is, you that, know, is that good? That's very good. <laughs> and, uh, no, the, the back nine is when they ordered the rest of the season. That's right, right. We but have when, 13 when, coming. When do you know? A couple of weeks. Right, okay. But the show's doing good. People the show's like. doing well. And it's David you know, Kelly. People love David Kelly. David hate David Kelly. They hate David Kelly? Oh, yeah. People hate him. People hate David Kelly? Yeah. Boston so Legal? God. David Kelly? You talking oh, about? well, you know, some people like him, but when I... <laughs> I went to the TCA, the Critics Association. Oh my God, they hate David Kelly. No, 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 no. they hate themselves. Oh, is that it? Yes, they're television critics. They, you walk around and say, I'm a television critic. They say, what's your job? I watch television. <laughs> really? That's your job? <laughs> yes, and then I, then I say mean things about it in blogs. Good for you. <laughs> Who are, are you these people? Clever? <laughs> yeah. Whereas I watch television and then say mean things about it on television. <laughs> I got to try that. Yeah, it's all right. So, but it's good that you play a lawyer who has uh, something stuck on her head. <laughs> oh, right. I get it. <laughs> I got up real early this morning. Nah, You'll have to forgive right. me. Yeah, it's because she was hungover. Oh, now, are you a big drinker, problem drinker, scotch, methamphetamine, anything like that? <laughs> Let me see if I can show you my tracks. No, no I no. can't pick it up. Okay. Um, no, but I had a vodka before I came on. Does that you, count? You, well, it, it, yes, it does. <laughs> well, you see, vodka is not a unit of measurement. You said a vodka. <laughs> to me, to you, a vodka may be that size. To me, a vodka is this size. <laughs> well, not given the cheap little glasses you got backstage. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do you have cheap glasses? Yeah, we, we spent all the money on the set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. 
Good job. Thanks. Yeah, look, it's, uh, you know, it's the city of L.A. out there. It's uh, romantic, isn't it? <laughs> so you don't have a drink problem then, you don't think? <laughs> uh, no. No, I don't That's drink. the first sign, you know, denial. <laughs> <laughs> do you drink a lot of scotch? Do you enjoy the scotch? I hate scotch. Really? What's yeah. your drink then? Vodka? Is that what you do? Uh, it depends on the night. Right. <laughs> you, like the, you, like the, do you like the vodka out of the freezer? Do you like to put it in the freezer and get it syrupy? Oh, it's in the freezer. Oh, it's in the freezer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the uh, Stolishnaya, the Russian vodka? Oh, Grey Goose. Grey Goose? Yeah. Uh, where's that from? Greenland? <laughs> uh, where the Grey Goose flies, I guess. Uh, it's a Native American vodka? <laughs> And a grey goose flies over the They just thing, have a bunch it? of flying goose on the bottle, that's all I know. <laughs> but you, well, so you don't have a drinking problem, but you don't care where this stuff comes from. And you don't really know how much of it you drink. <laughs> no, as long as I can find the bottle yeah. in the freezer, that's Doesn't all I care Doesn't sound to me like you got a problem at all! <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, we're, we're out of time. Do you drink? Do I drink? No, I, I'm, a, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I haven't had a drink in nearly 20 years. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. Look. Wait. Wait. When you applaud that, you insult everyone that knew me when I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be saying, yes, damn right as well? <laughs> no, I was a big drinker. Oh, was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was all foo -foo. <laughs> Well, I was back in the day. I mean, we had moonshine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a long time ago. <laughs> oh, man. Man, you must moisturize. Uh, cause, cause what was that, 1921? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Used to go over the state line to get the hooch. <laughs> does he really? No, my mother did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, yeah, she used yeah. to carry hers in a little medicine bottle and an eyeglass case to get on the plane so she didn't have to pay for it on the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know your family. <laughs> we called it tea time. Tea time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are out of control. Like, look, we're out of, we're out of time. I need, uh, uh, I need to, we have to close it up here. We don't have a band. So you, here's your options for the end of the uh, thing. Uh, you can have a, a mouth organ. <laughs> you can have an awkward pause. <laughs> or like you this. can go for the big cash prize. Is the cow dancing? Oh, you... <laughs> the horse? Oh, the horse! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, you, want to, you want to dance with the horse? I want to dance with the horse. Well, I don't know if the horse is here, but... I uh, saw half the horse. Who's is an actor. He stars in Free Agents and Saturday Nights on BBC America. Take a look at this. <laughs> Aren't British people croissant classy? <laughs> Please welcome Anthony Head, everybody. Anthony Head. It's so nice to see you. I haven't seen you since I used to kiss you every night in London. I thought we did more than that. Well, we did. Tony and I were in a play we were together, a play. weren't we, dear? We were. We were in a musical. What was the name of it again? It was called Rocky Horror. Oh, yes, the Rocky Horror. What character did you play? I played Frank and Furter. And I played Brad Majors. You did? Yes. You were very good. You were very good. Oh, no, you yeah, were better. No, you were very good. <laughs> we used to have to pretend to have sex every night, and then one night... <laughs> I did. I, ha I, I yes. I, I, I touched your shiny ball, didn't I? Many yeah, times. yeah. Many times. This one. That one. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Oh, you're all grown up. And we're so proud of your look. Oh well, because I, I, I have a basement in America <laughs> where I do a public access cable show. This is this. I, I, I'm like you know because I'm in England. 
And I thought we'd, I'd just access it every now and again. On the internet? Oh, yes. At the CBS website, I'm, of course, not in any way. <laughs> no, no, of course, no, no, no. At the um, CBS. So you've got a computer now, have you? <laughs> yeah. Well, good for you. Well, cause we, no, because when we were doing the Rocky Horror Show... We, Computers weren't invented. Well, they were, but they were big things, like a million dollar brain, you know, yeah. big wheels and things. They, they had wheels on them and uh, Rocky Dinga inside them, <laughs> operating them. I remember that. You used to have, in calculators, you used to have a Rocky on your back. <laughs> when you punched it in and Rocky. you go, it's four. <laughs> and you... <laughs> this is a long time ago when we did that a play, man. Like, this is like 20 like years ago. Nine. 20 years ago, man. Gee, you look great. I'm falling apart. You look, you look as if you're inhabited by somebody fabulous, I tell you. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, I am occasionally. Have you met Jeff? Uh, Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. He's a he's a skeleton robot. What have you been up to then? Um, I've been, oh, you're doing the show. I'm That's doing, nice. doing yeah. And and because because it's I'm playing a, an evil but not an evil boss but an inappropriate boss and, and I think I could take a a note or two from you because you played an inappropriate boss on the Drew Carey show. Drew Carey, is it something about like European accents or British accents? Do you think? Well, let me tell you, Tony. I think what I just think it is. Well, I think what it is is that, um, you know, English accents sometimes lend themselves to some kind of pomposity. Now, <laughs> yours, yours doesn't, clearly. Uh, you, you, you've got a lovely accent and very nice hair. <laughs> I'm awesome at this talk show thing, am I? So, uh, are you still living in Bath then yeah. with, the, with the missus and the, yeah. and the girls? Yeah, the what girl. age are your girls now? Your, your, your youngest daughter was born. When we were doing uh, the Rocky Horror Show. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I remember you took the night off and I had to make out with another bloke. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go and say, Tony, was... Tony, Tony's missus is having a baby. You're going to have to make out with this guy. I went, oh, all right. <laughs> I bet he wasn't as good as me. Well, he... No. I still keep in touch with him. So yeah. Daisy. Where's Daisy? Daisy. Daisy. That's oh, Daisy. my God! <laughs> Daisy, look! That's the girl that was born! the night we were working together. Hi, Daisy. You probably don't remember me. You were a baby. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, well, that's... She's mouthy, though, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Is she like that at home? She has a mouth. She's a bit like her mother, isn't she, in a way? How's she doing? How's the lovely She's doing home? great. That's fantastic. She's doing great. You've got three dogs? So Sarah can sort the Jack Russell out. Yeah. Well, I have. I've got this Jack Russell dog, which is a, uh, uh, it's a pain in the ass. Well, She's very good with a dog. She is. Isn't she'll she'll she? sort it out for you. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it. Is she it. a dog whisperer? Well, that's, yeah, that's what they say, but, uh, but she's, it's, it's, it's not... It's not science, it's obvious. It's basically, it's, okay. It's about tension in, in the body, and if you sort out the tension, because the tension has a direct... Tension in my body or the dog's body? In the dog's. And it's a, it has a direct, uh, it, it, it works on the uh, central nervous system. And basically, if he's tight in his hindquarters, it means that he thinks something's going to happen. And most Jack Russells have got... Has he got a duck tail? It's a, it's a, it's a lady, lady dog. Has she got a duck tail? Uh, no, we didn't cut her tail, uh, no. No, you yeah. didn't. Anyway, but anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, you don't believe me? Sorry. No, 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 I do, no, I do. No, I do. no, so, no but it, I will, I will, we'll talk about it afterwards, because it's, it's really, it's, it's non-invasive, it's really simple work, it's so gentle. There's not any of that going. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Which end were you going to do that? I don't that know. Because I, I do that to the dog, it, and she gets very upset. Uh, I go, you, get over there. Go on, get over there. Sit on the naughty step. Yeah. <laughs> No naughty step. No, it's it's uh, it's it's all positive reinforcement. Well, how many dogs have you got then? Five. 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 What kind have you got? We've got two Maremmas, which are huge uh, Italian um, sheep dogs. They live out with the sheep. Um, you have sheep? We well, occasionally people put their sheep on our land. Yeah, we got we got a bit of. So people drive by your of... land to go. Hey. It's a good spot for the sheep. <laughs> get out! <laughs> you get out! Do uh, people drive by and leave your rogue sheep? Uh, uh, like, rah, 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 rah. The dogs are waiting there for them? Uh, they're very polite. They always call first. They're very polite. Well, right, so... 
So you have this sheep sanctuary. Uh, <laughs> the, the, they, yes, the marimas don't actually intermingle with the sheep because that, that, they would do in, that in Italy, not, not, not on, on our place. I see. Aye. Mm. So uh, you're, you're not over here all the time now, are you? No. Because when you were doing Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you were I, here. I was here. There's a whole new thing with vampires now. They're oh, vegetarian and gay, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that you can't slay them anymore? Apparently, you uh -oh. marry them. <laughs> Right? Am I right, lesbian? No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what the young folks are doing now. They don't slay the vampires anymore. They've been co-opted into this some wow. kind of teen canteen. <laughs> <laughs> teen canteen? Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, we're out of time, too. Uh -huh. um, so, you want a mouth organ, uh, touch my glittery ball, or go for the I've big cash that. prize? A big, oh. 50 uh -huh. bucks in singles. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Could we give it to someone else? <laughs> All right. We could, but for legal reasons, it would have to be this side <laughs> of the aisle. Over here. Because... This side of the audience contains your daughter, and that would look like you were yes. trying to give that her money. And CBS are very strict about that kind of thing. <laughs> so we would have to give the money to this side of the audience. So, I, 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 we, yeah, I'm not. Well, if, the thing you have to do is you have to mm. win the money first. Don't you? Uh, uh, uh. Uh. So Tony's playing for fifty dollars, which could be won by the, he'll give to this side of the audience. Should he win? Should he win? Right. Here's what you got to do. You got to answer one question. Uh, All right. Uh, it's a pretty difficult question. Uh, uh, okay, here you go. You ready? Uh, okay. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Aye. Uh, the capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. I would have said that, yeah. Right. What is the population... <laughs> <laughs> what is the population of Reykjavik? You're allowed one lifeline to me. <laughs> Ask for your lifeline if you don't know. Can I have my lifeline? Yeah, it's just over 200,000. <laughs> I'd say just over 200,000. He got it right! Yes! 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 Tommy, give that money to these people over there. Adelaide! Adelaide, everybody, If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. Kathy Bates was a little buzzed. Yeah, she was out of her mind, man. I liked her. Me too. That's, a, that's how I like the women drunk and in leather. That's how I like the dudes. Uh. <laughs>